Hungry! And on Apollo Highway on my plate, coast to coast, we continue our journey along the coast of India. In this beautiful open ocean, and what may you ask are we doing over here? We are here to do what Indian fishermen have been doing for millennia. They've been coming out onto the high seas to get the fresh catch for the day and to take it back. The small difference here being that we're not out here to catch fish using large nets and eat them. We're here to indulge in something called sport fishing. What's sport fishing? It's a lot of fun if you're a human. It's not that much fun or sport if you're a fish. But essentially, we're going to trawl for fish. How's that for sport? Foul! <laughs> what? You're out! It's a good sport, I like it. And for all you land lovers out there, this is not just about the sport fishing. We're also going to take you to some very well-known eateries in Chennai. But for now, hang on to your hats. Just enjoy the sunrise, which is coming up over there. The beautiful salt spray and the pitching, yawing and bouncing of this boat. It's making me hungry. segment Apollo go the distance today we're heading out five nautical miles into the ocean and one nautical mile is how many kilometers 1.8 1.8 so this is quick arithmetic nine kilometers out into the ocean and we are hoping to catch fish and the gentleman who's going to help us do that is this young gentleman Santosh Jagdish so is this the first of its kind in India absolutely we're the first ones to start uh, this company it's blue waters sport fishing is what we call a company so if you want to catch fish and you want to go out into the high seas and throw out a line, you come to Blue Waters. Absolutely. Sounds good. And where we'll be heading right now is to the reef. It's a natural reef where there's good chances of spotting some dolphins, a lot of seagull birds, and also, you know, you get to catch some good king mackerels, yellowfin tunas, bluefin tunas, mahi-mahi, and a lot of other fish. So essentially what we're on is a deep ocean safari, or, a, or an ocean safari. Absolutely. See, our question on the Apollo Go The Distance quiz is this. In oceans, there is a fish that is found whose fish is highly toxic. But once it's cleaned, it's also a very prized delicacy, especially in the restaurants in Japan. Name the fish. Is it A, Faluda? B, Fugu? C, Fuchsia? Or D, Figs? And if you know the answer, pat yourself on the back. And if you don't, we'll tell you in a little bit. So what we're doing is trawling, right? Absolutely. These are the lures. So what happens is uh, they have a hook at the stomach and the tail and these are the deep divers. So once we uh, leave the line out, they actually swim like a real fish. Quite simple. Rod, reel, 100 pound line which can take 100 pound dead weight and the lure which fishies are going to look at and go, Mmm, that looks good. So there's actually a method to this madness where the first two that will go on will go out for much longer and deeper and then the next two will go out closer and maybe shallower. Four lines in the water, all we do now is sit and wait to try and listen to this sound. Which means there's a fish at the end of this pole, we take it out and we reel it in. And once you've reeled it in, you have an option. You can either take it on board, take it back home, cook it, eat it or you can be very responsible and actually catch and release it back for the next guy to come along and maybe catch again. And that's what we actually encourage everybody to follow eco-friendly concept. You know, you catch, photograph and release. Here's the answer for the Apollo Go The Distance quiz. Da -da -da -da! Option B, Fugu, also called puffer or blowfish. It is so poisonous that chefs actually have to get a license to be able to serve this to diners. Because if they don't clean it well, and they serve it without knowing what they're doing, the diner could die an agonizing death. <laughs> Can you take it? Well, and finally, we're in luck. It seems like we have a bite. We heard that reel go Which means there's probably a small fish on there. Is that right? Looks like Sandosh, it. Sandosh, what do you think? A small like, one? Looks like a small fish, yeah. Here you go, fish is coming. Oh, there it is, there, there it is, here it is. We got a fish, we got a fish. What? The fish, the fish. Oh. It's a tuna, guys. It's a little fellow. It's there a little There we go. Tuna. Look at that beauty. Wow. How's that? Okay, so it's not a huge catch, it's a blue but fin it's a catch. Tuna. It's a bluefin tuna. Oh, oh it's a bluefin. Yeah. yeah. Now that is what you call fresh. Bluefin tuna, extremely rare. Not a good idea to hunt these. 
It's a good idea to put them back. Mayur, please do the honors. Swim away, my little friend. Swim away. Goodbye, goodbye. Be good. Goodbye. Tell your friends that Rocky doesn't eat everything that he gets his hands on. Let go, let go. A little flick of the tail and it's gone. Okay, now we just got to break our record. We just need a, a hundred kilo fish. Ah, there you go. <laughs> We had a wonderful day out at sea, even though we came back with nothing to show for it. Because sometimes you win and sometimes you come back without any fish. Or rather, sometimes the fisherman wins and sometimes the fish win. Let me take you somewhere where you can eat vegetarian food and eat like a king. No, I don't have to do that. Because there are many other fish in the sea, my friend, and not all of them are winners. Some of them lose and end up on plates. <laughs> come.